is one Ahmed Abu Bakr, a.k.a. Black Rasta Hill from the northern part of Ghana. And trust me, the man has played a very key role, a very important role, you know, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the history of reggae in Ghana. He has said a lot of things on his radio show. And at the end of the day, it ended him in parliament. A lot of things happened. He resigned from his radio station straight away. And the man has picked up, you know, a musical career now. Is he coming back to the reggae or the radio industry? Right after his resigning from his radio station, straight away he went to Guyana for a festival, you know, over there. And then he met the president over there and everything was all right. Is he going to go back to Guyana again? Is it going to be a yearly thing? Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the gentleman in the house. Well, it's sad for me to say that he lost his wife. And trust me, as a man, can't stay alone. He's again onto another one. But he's got two youths. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest today is the one, the controversial Black Rasta. Black. Yes, my brother. Wow, well, God, man. I'm good, man. I'm good. <laughs> Everything <Yeah>. blessed. <laughs> nice to be here, you know. You know, see it. It feels more than home, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah. How do you see the place? It's a beautiful place. I like the wooden thing and all the night. You know, dub. Yeah. When you were talking about dub, then you're talking about these things we see around. You know, see it. So, yeah, man, I love the vibe. The only thing I don't like is that we don't have a black rasta dub. <laughs> see it. <laughs> <laughs> black yeah, Rasta don't be here. I hope Trust me. Time. <laughs> yeah, man. You have it here. See. Yeah, man. So, Black, yeah. um, how have you been in terms of the business, reggae-wise, kuchoko-wise? Kuchoko, yes. Uh, well, I would say that it's been going on good. Mm -hmm. I've been higher and higher. It's been a restful time for me. Mm -hmm. Seeing, sleeping, having fun, researching, writing, and doing a whole lot of touring, mm -hmm. as you rightly said. Mm -hmm. I was in Guyana, mm -hmm. I was in Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. I was in America, I mean Nigeria, and all over doing my things. I mean, it's a very busy time for me running around and doing things that I love doing. So, yeah, the business is good. I mean, it's great. You know, people keep asking this. Yeah. You know, when is Black Rasta coming back to radio? Yeah. When is he coming back <laughs> to radio? You know, and, and, and you know, people keep asking me this, and I wonder if, for real, I, you know, I'm the road manager for Black Rasta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and of course, you need to pay me for, for that. For real, for real, yes, yes. <laughs> you yes, know what yes. I mean? So, people keep asking that almost all the time. And sometimes when I sit down and I think about it, you know, I don't even understand. And even, I read it on the internet one time that a fan said, he or she is going to commit suicide yeah, if yeah. Black Rasta don't come mm -hmm. back to the radio. How yeah. does that make you feel? Well, I mean, it just makes me feel appreciated. Mm -hmm. Rasta man will say, appreciate love, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it means that the people love Black Rasta. When I was on the radio, you know, so many people were talking a lot of trash. Mm -hmm. Oh, get him off the radio. He's making too much noise and blah, blah. The Jamaicans say, cow never know the use of him tail till butcher cut it off. See? <laughs> See? The cow does not know the use of the tail yeah. till the butcher comes to cut it off. Yeah. Then when the flies are disturbing it and it's trying to wag the tail and drive them away, mm -hmm. and it realizes that, oh, there's no tail. Ah, oh, so that's the use of that thing. Yeah. They say you never miss the water till the well run dry. See? So I just want to feel, I just want to, I mean, feel loved. Yeah. That the people are showing me love. The people have come to realize that a big vacuum has been created mm -hmm. with the exit of Black Rasta. Mm -hmm. And that was my intention. See? You know, when you're telling your little son, hey, don't get near that red thing. It's mm -hmm. called fire. Mm -hmm. And it is hot. Mm -hmm. And it keeps going there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes pull the love aside. Mm -hmm. Let him go touch it. When it burns him, mm -hmm. and it's crying, and moves back. Mm -hmm. He say, yo, that's it. So exactly, I just want to feel that the people love me. It's been overwhelming, like you said. Mm -hmm. Some people said, hey, if you're not coming back, we're committing suicide. And the psychology that I studied at the university tells me that when anybody threatens suicide, mm -hmm. don't take that for a joke. Mm -hmm. Inside the subconscious, the person is contemplating it. It could take 100 years. Mm -hmm. The person is contemplating it. Mm -hmm. I'll kill you. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Mm -hmm. When somebody approaches you and says, I'll kill you, and you laugh and joke and drink, he's contemplating it. The devil has a way of playing it back, mm -hmm. and you could do it. So I took it serious, and I said, don't worry, man. It was supposed to be a short break. Mm -hmm. 
now I am coming forward and we shall do more things. <laughs> so, 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 when? When are we going to see Black Cluster in the Radio Fraternity? Well, well, I want to give Jada glory and say that hopefully this month, um, Black Rasta should be back on the radio. Oh, I this mean, month? Yeah, January? January, yes. Wow. Ja willing. I mean, as you said, I resigned from my last post after eight years of a grueling battling. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I love radio. Mm -hmm. I love reggae. I love what I do. Mm -hmm. You know, but it came to a time that we had to step out. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. And we, we actually stepped out. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are moving on mm -hmm. onto another platform. And trust me, it's going to be fire. I've I never stayed at home for six months. See? All my life since I started radio. So you miss radio, right? Radio, from the day that I resigned, I miss radio. I mean, it's my See? life. Wow. Lagazi. Yeah, man. It's my life. That is where I go. And then yeah. I teach, yeah. I preach, mm -hmm. and I heal. Mm -hmm. Because when some people listen to me, they get healed. Yeah. Some people will tell me that, hey, if I don't listen to you, my whole day is spoiled. Mm -hmm. That means some part of the healing is taken away. Right. So I take that very seriously. It's a calling. Some right. people are pastors. Mm -hmm. Some people are boxers. Mm -hmm. That's their calling. Mm -hmm. My calling is to sit on the radio and talk to the youth, right. educate them. What they will not be able to go onto the, into the library and read, Black Rasta will say, don't worry, man. I'll do it for you. I'll read. I'll get the knowledge, and then I'll come and impart it mm -hmm. onto the youth. And I always try to get, give them nothing but the correct work. All right, before we step into this um, parliament issues, yeah, you know, because um, this is, you, you've said a lot and a whole lot of platforms, but man. this is a record dance of platforms. For real. And maybe um, 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 we're going to ask some straight questions. Straight, man. And we we'll demand some straight answers from you. I love straight <laughs> questions and straight but answers. But before we step into that, um, Black, yeah, well, well. what is happening in terms of your album? Are we going to see some new album this year? Are you planning some tours? Yeah. As you normally do, um, mm -hmm. like the whole Ghana tour yeah, yeah. and all that kind of... Are we going to experience that this year? I think you are an Obia man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Obia man, I tell you, man. <laughs> I, am, I am actually doing a Ghana tour. I'm doing what is known as Kuchoko on campus. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to all the regions of Ghana. In every region, I'll play at the university or the polytechnic. Where we don't have a university, I'll play in a polytechnic. See? So I'm doing that beginning the 22nd of January. I'm hitting WA, mm -hmm. UDS. And I will go there and give them the vibe, the Kuchoko mm -hmm. vibe. Mm -hmm. Right after that, we are dropping a brand new album, and it's called the Kuchoko Revolution. Kuchoko Revolution. Kuchoko Revolution. Mm -hmm. It's a very hot album. Mm -hmm. Tight and strong. Mm -hmm. Recorded live. Live. Every little instrument that you hear in it, live. Wow. See? Mm -hmm. And, yo, it's an album that I love so much. Yeah, it's defining the real Kuchoko. How many, so, how, how many tunes are we going to have on the album? And uh, do you have any artists or, you know, artists you featured on it and all that kind of thing? Are we going to have some Ghanaians, Jamaicans and Rare Rare on, 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 on the album? Yeah, on this album, I did not do too much featuring. I did almost all the songs myself. On other albums, I did a lot of featuring. This one only has um, Dudu Manenga mm -hmm. all the way from Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. She did a soca song with me, and it's called Soca Lady. Okay. It's a beautiful song. Mm -hmm. Guyana loves it. Mm -hmm. Then I also featured um, this brother known as The Voice, mm -hmm. JM The Voice, okay. on a song known as... Um, uh, it's called the African Queen. Okay. It's, it's a very beautiful love song. Mm -hmm. Then I also have a free year mm -hmm. of Wuta fame okay. on a song known as Flower in the Shower. Wow. It's another love song. See. Killer, killer tune. Uh, you, you, yeah. you, you're talking about love song, love song yeah. with some your face, some kind of sexy sing, eyes. Sing, 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 sing. <laughs> yeah. Are you a romantic the man yourself? The buffalo <laughs> foot man. The <laughs> buffalo foot, the most romantic <laughs> raster man on earth. Yeah, I mean, I have the grace of God on me. Yeah. Everywhere I go, the ladies are always following me, following me, following me. And I see that as a glorious something from the Almighty. Because, hey, to be followed by women is a blessing, man. I love the women. They make me feel good, man. Any man who women don't like is Satan. <laughs> Any man who has a scary face and women see him and run away, trust me, you will never make it in life. <laughs> because they say, beside every, some people say behind. Yeah. I don't want the word behind. Yeah. Beside right. every successful man, the mossy woman. Yeah, man. You see? <laughs> yeah, man. So if you want to be successful, you must have a woman. If you don't have a woman, you will never be successful. All right. Trust me. All right. Um, coming from my production crew, yeah. um, as you say, you want to come back 
onto yeah. the radio. You're coming back onto the radio yeah, man. on a different platform. Platform. We we but but I want you to think about it from the production grid. Yeah, think man. about it. Yeah. And we'll come back to you. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's go on the screen and watch something. When we come forward, trust me. More questions. <laughs> <laughs> Black Rasta, wh 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 what language is this? This is Dagbani. And what does it mean? Well, Mbaba is, is almost like, please, I don't want any trouble. Mm -hmm. it, when you go to Tamale and other areas where Dagbani is spoken, mm -hmm. when you're talking to somebody and realizes that what you are telling him is going to bring him trouble, mm -hmm. he goes like this, Mbaba. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't even talk, they just go like that. Mm -hmm. It means, please, I'm not part of this. Some people say, Mbaba means take me out of this so that's what this song is talking about it's an old term wow saying we are bringing the i love to dig and bring out the terms wow so this song is saying that yeah 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 me i am just a cool person hiding in my corner i know that you are the daughter of a king or the son of a king mm -hmm. please don't come and shake me and put me into trouble let me stay in my small corner at the end of the month, you're coming back onto the radio. Which radio station are you going? Well, it's going to be a radio station that loves me. A radio station that is going to stand by me in the heat and in the cold. It's going to be a radio station that is going to stand by me in thick and in thin, for better or for worse. It's going to be a radio station that is going to give me the wings to fly like a kite Quick. and give me the eyes to see like an eagle. That is how it's going to be. I don't work for money. Money is important, but I work for love. <laughs> Eight years, I was with Hits FM. Lovely period, lovely time. Mm, love the people. <laughs> See, Saying, when yeah. the time was out for me to move, I moved. That's how it has always been. Like Paul All in right. the Bible, you move from place to place. So where are you going? Accra, Kumasi, Somanya, Dodua. Yeah. Well, I will tell you that it will certainly be in Accra. Okay. Yeah, it will be in Accra. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I mean, by Monday, I would have finished signing my deal, <laughs> and then you would have seen uh, billboards in a day or two, uh -huh. and then it will be spread all over, and Ghanaians will sit like this, and what? waiting to hear the very first <laughs> note of my voice on the radio. <laughs> I want to thank everybody who prayed, everybody mm -hmm. who saw visions, everybody who guided me, mm -hmm. everybody who stood by me mm -hmm. and waited for this time. But Black, it, yeah, it, it, it would be nice if... If, yeah. if you could tell me on mm -hmm. this platform, like your legacy, I'm going to that radio station, and it will well, be a breaking news. Well, let's I break mean, the news over here. I mean, ethically, break the news. ethically yeah. until pen is put to paper and signed, mm -hmm. you don't reveal, Say. or you will give your employers the chance to, to, to be too proud. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> so let us ink the deal. Let me take my small thing <laughs> and give out my big thing. That's it, man. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be big, man. I mean, it's All not right. going to be a joke. We are, mm -hmm. we, we are going to do very serious things. Mm -hmm. I know that people have missed me mm -hmm. and people are expecting a lot of things. Yeah. I, I've never disappointed anybody. Yeah. When I come forward on the radio, mm -hmm. it's going to be crazy. Hot! 
All right, fire. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if, if, if we open the phone lines, I know people are going to ask Black about <laughs> uh, this parliament issues and all that kind of thing. I don't want that because when I ask him and he says it, trust me, listen to it very carefully. So Black, <laughs> in, 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 in parliament, first and foremost, in parliament, how was the feeling like? Well, the feeling was that of sympathy and the feeling was that of being let down. Mm -hmm. Yes, when I sat down there and I was watching the parliament, I said, God, have don't mercy. they have anything better to do? See, I was crying in my stomach and I was like, oh my God. So, but I know that is the working of God. Yeah. Why do you drag me, mm -hmm. a non-entity, mm -hmm. a non-existent atom, mm -hmm. you bring me before all these 270 something people? Mm -hmm. And all you want is for me to give you an apology. Mm -hmm. An apology that I had given already mm -hmm. at the committee thing. Mm -hmm. You wanted me to come and repeat it. And then you feel good with your peacock feathers that, yeah, we brought him down. We made him small. You're joking, man. Well, and let's have a feel on the screen right now. What some of the, you know, interactions and some of the heat in parliament around that particular time. Black Rasta. Myself and said, This is the tape. Honorable uh, members, the report you were there in the public gallery. I was watching you. You are supposed to render apology. Please, we want to listen to the text of your apology. Oh, all right. Yeah, so I would like to say that um, uh, if there was an art to uh, read the mind's construction on the face, you would have known how much my face is bleeding by now, honestly, because uh, this is not what I stand for. I stand for development. When Barack Obama came here, I, I, I sat with him. Honorable. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Order. Order. So, ladies and gentlemen, those are some of the reactions in Parliament around that. Were you sad at that particular moment? Because I could see... I was sad, you man. You up and... I was almost like a dead man. Because when I was walking through the aisle, there were some people who were like, Today we get you, you go see some of the MPs. And I saw, I heard some other people saying, And then I heard some other people, He's not well dressed, let him go and, ch and dress and come back. And when I turned and looked at him, he was wearing coat and tie. I said, you idiot. <laughs> you are wearing coat and tie. And I'm wearing kente with bees from Everland. Say, and you are telling me I'm not well dressed. Yeah. What? 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 Put a word in there. <laughs> it's, it's unfortunate. I was crying. Bros, this thing has empowered me. I've become like Samson. This was a joke. It was a comedy relief. See. And I'm telling you that on authority. Yeah. I could have gone there to tell them that what apology do you want? All of you go to hell. I won't do no apology. I could have done that. What are you going to do? Put me in jail for one million years? And who says I'm scared of that? No, sir. I was crying for my country, Ghana. Things that I say on the radio, brethren, that are supposed to change our country. They were not, you heard the, the speaker. Yeah. No long speeches, just apologize and go. And this is a big fan of Black Rasta. He said it. If yeah. you listen to him, yeah. if you play the tape longer, said, I was your biggest fan until you said this. If people like this listen to me and take inspiration. He, he didn't like it. The, 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 uh, uh, the Honorable Doha, who didn't mm. like it. But I was brought, who am I? See? That I come to you and stand there and all you have to do is just render the apology and go. Apology mm -hmm. that I rendered already. 80% mm -hmm. of the parliamentarians in Ghana smoke marijuana. It's wrong. I, you see, but around that time, I could see tears in your eyes. Me? Tears? Yes. Even if I was crying, yeah. like I told, right? Now, <laughs> can you see tears? Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> when I get emotional about something, mm -hmm. tears... On my radio show, I cry every day, every night. Mm -hmm. People know me when you go to Hit FM. Mm -hmm. They will tell you that this is a crying messiah. Mm -hmm. He's always crying. I feel, I feel it. Mm -hmm. 
I don't pretend. If yeah. I don't like you, I don't like you. Straight. I will never see you and say, oh, yeah, yeah. No, they call it plastic smile. Yeah. I'm not into it. Same. If I don't like you, you, I approach you and tell you, say, yo, this is what you did. I don't like you. Stay away from me. Yeah, straight. That's, that's how Black Rasta is. And yeah. I, I'm glad that Ghanaians... I heard some people say, oh, they made him small. They, you, you ignorant. Tears? Yes. Even if I was crying, yeah. like I told, right? Now you can, can you see tears? Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> when I get emotional about something, <laughs> tears. On my radio show, I cry every day, every night. <laughs> people know me when you go to Hit FM. <laughs> they will tell you that this is a crying messiah. <laughs> He's always crying. It, it, I, feel, I feel it. <laughs> I don't pretend. If yeah. I don't like you, I don't like you. Straight. I will never see you and say, oh, yeah, yeah. No, they call it plastic smile. Yeah. I'm not into it. Same. If I don't like you, you, I approach you and tell you, say, yo, this is what you did. I don't like you. Stay away from me. Yeah, straight. That's, that's how Black Rasta is. And yeah. I, I'm glad that Ghanaians... I heard some people say, oh, they made him small. They, you, you ignorant. Yeah. I could have gone there to turn the whole parliament into... But you have to show respect. Of course. Unfortunately, what did they want? They said apology. Yeah. Apology, which I had already given if you play back the first meeting. Yeah. At that point, I, I just knew that God had made it. Yeah. I knew God had made it. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. So in Parliament, it was, it was like, oh my, I was praying, God, this is my beloved country, God. Mm -hmm. Let us reach that level. All right. Saying so after me, a lot of other people have said worse things about the parliament. True. Have they dared yeah. bring any one of them in front of the parliament? So you should know that it's the doing of God. God, look, professor said, you are ignorant. You don't know anything about Ebola. Instead of sitting the professor down, mm -hmm. this is a knowledgeable professor in his field of study mm -hmm. to say, okay, tell us why you think we are ignorant. Mm -hmm. And A, B, C, D. You would rather drag him there to apologize to you and say blah, 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 and professor too well because he didn't want any problem. Mm -hmm. He decided to apologize, and he went free with his knowledge. With his knowledge? Yeah. If I were the person, mm -hmm. I would have called the professor. Well, professor, you said A, B, C, D. We want you to enlighten us. Mm -hmm. Rather than show us, are you more brilliant than us and blah, blah, that kind of, yeah. you know, no. authoritative. authoritative kind of thing. If I were the person, mm -hmm. if my son comes into my room and he says that, hey, daddy, you are sitting in a dirty corner. Instead of, come and show me. I'll be, I'll be cleaning my room and all this. You tell me I'm sitting in a, come, come and show me how dirty. No, oh, eh, hey, is it dirty? Where, which part? That's wisdom. Mm -hmm. Wisdom. I respect the parliament. Mm -hmm. They make laws for us. Without them, there would have been chaos. Mm -hmm. Bros, yeah, but I thought that they went too far. They went too far. A lot of people gave me a lot, they made me extremely famous <laughs> in <laughs> Guyana when they were introducing <laughs> me to the press. And oh, he was at the Ghana party. Some people started calling me honorable. <laughs> honorable, they didn't know that I went to the parliament house to answer questions. They thought I was in the Ghana. Honorable. <laughs> <laughs> honorable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, for real, man. So, yes, yeah. um, um, um. Once again, yeah, man. Uh, let's move away from the parliament yeah. issue. You know, um, I could see a lot of transformation in your life. For real. If I follow your Facebook, mm -hmm. you know, timeline, you know, you posted that you you visited TB Joshua. Yeah, yeah, for real. Mm -hmm. And I know you to be one particular person yeah. who went on radio and you burned TB Joshua fire yeah. upon fire. You condemned the Joshua water. You condemned everything about TB Joshua. So I sat and I was like, yo, Black Rasta, in a synagogue church, what happened? Okay. What, what exactly are you looking for? All right. What is this spiritual thing in your life, Black? Tell us. I'm going to give you the opportunity to play a video that I made called La Sharik Allah. Mm -hmm. Nobody has played it yet. Yeah. Nowhere. Mm -hmm. And you will look at religious tolerance. Yeah. Where you will see me in the Catholic church. Yeah. Down on my knees, the Catholic priest says, and then yeah. in the Hare Krishna no. temple. Yeah. Where the Hare Krishna man painted my hair with some white chalk mm -hmm. or something, mm -hmm. and I worshiped with them. Mm -hmm. And then in the mosque, and mm -hmm. then in the Rastafari zone, mm -hmm. all I'm preaching is religious tolerance. But let me go into the TB Joshua thing. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that since I came home, mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a right time to say things like that, mm -hmm. but I see visions. Wow. Yes. 
I see visions. Ladies and gentlemen, you, you need yeah. to put this on tape. Yeah. Since Black Rasta resigned and he went home, he started seeing visions. Yeah. What kind of visions? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I see visions. This is the first time I'm saying it anywhere. Mm -hmm. I sleep and I wake up with visions. Wow. I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. First time I saw a vision mm -hmm. was about some plane crash in Ghana. Wow. And if you ask some of the prophets mm -hmm. in Ghana, they mm -hmm. will tell you. I called some of them. I visited a number of prophets, went to their churches and different, different places just to sit down and listen. So many people saw me. Mm -hmm. Visions. Mm -hmm. Two weeks later, that plane crashed in Tamale. Wow. And I saw it cra crashing. Now I'm going to tell you what is going to happen. Yeah. There's going to be another plane crash in Accra. In Accra? Yes. Nobody's going to die. Mm -hmm. There will be one in Kumasi. People are going to die. Wow. It's unfortunate. Two plane crashes this year. Ladies and gentlemen, two plane crashes this year. On the, yeah, listen, this is your number one reggae dancer show, Dub Legend. And trust me, Black Rasta is on it. I two plane crash. Yeah. One in Accra. One, One in Kumasi. in Kumasi. All we have to do is to pray. I know that some people are going to say somewhere and say, oh, why? Latter day dooms prophet or something. No. <laughs> I'm only answering a question that you pose to me. Yeah. And if you look at some of the things that are posted on Facebook and some things, yeah. we're going to have a big shock in Parliament. Saying. One of the biggest fishes, biggest fishes, yeah. will not, will, will fly home if we don't pray very Same. hard. God reveals to me when I sleep and I wake up. Wow. Ask Bernard L. Bernard. Mm -hmm. If you are a Christian, mm -hmm. if you know what I'm talking about. These are big people Christians know. Mm -hmm. Bernard L. Bernard. Mm -hmm. Ask uh, uh, Kewa. Mm -hmm. Ask Prophet Enoch. Mm -hmm. Prophet Francis Adra. Mm -hmm. All the big prophets. All right. Let them give you a gist of what I'm talking about. It's wow. the glory of God. Saying, I sleep. So many people have dreamt about me wearing a white gown and walking on the streets, preaching to the people, you know, including you, Lagazi. Yes, of course. The day, that night, you called me and said, oh, eh, hey, Black, I dreamt about you. I cut you short and said, did you see me wearing a white gown? I said, yes! You were wearing a white gown at the marketplace. I said, yeah, you're not the only person. It's the glory of God. If Amen. I'm lying, Amen. tell the whole <laughs> Ghana that Black Rasta is lying. My life <laughs> has become more spiritual. Of course, I was spiritual. It has become more spiritual. Mm -hmm. There are so many prophecies I could have given you. Good. Let's hold it down All right. for now. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a very terrible flood in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. Terrible, bad flood. When I sleep, I see it. Sometimes I just sit down and it flies in front of my face like a picture. If wow. I was smoking marijuana yeah. or drinking a petechi, some people would have said, oh, why well, question no we, you know? <laughs> and to the mind, or well, ten or something like that. Yeah. But that is what I'm telling you. All right. If the God that I serve is a lying God, then call me a liar. Black, yeah. are we, are we from, from what you're telling us now, yeah, man. it means you are on the, like, on a prophetical kind of journey. Well... I well, for now, I just want to leave it to God. I mm -hmm. mean, I spoke with a lot of people, mm -hmm. and they told me that just leave yourself to God. Mm -hmm. Let God decide where he wants to put you. If you are going to be in the prophetic zone, mm -hmm. if you're going to be preaching in the marketplace. I've been preaching on radio, telling people where to go. And, where. and yeah, T.B. Joshua, I almost, I almost left that out. Yeah. Yeah. T.B. Joshua invited me over. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, man. T.B. Joshua T. B. himself. T.B. Joshua invited me over. The prophet T.B. Prophet, Joshua. The great prophet T.B. Joshua. Wow. Invited me over. Oh, come around and see blah, blah. But we had some talks, and mm -hmm. I respect him. Mm -hmm. I love T.B. Joshua. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, Bob Marley said, your worst enemy could be your best, best friend. Best friend. And it's only a fool who cannot change his mind. Definitely. People are doing different, different things. Mm -hmm. Seeing? Mm -hmm. And that's their calling. Don't fight things if you don't understand them. Wow. That's, that's, that's it. If you don't understand, try to understand and then criticize only after you have understood the thing and realize that, no, this is just not right. When you met him, did you apologize? At, he knew. He knew. People were telling him a lot of things. He knew. And when I got to him, he looked at me and he told me, he, 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 I mean, he gave me, you know, a seven star, 20 star platinum that I was on. <laughs> Wow. And I was doing my things. 
Wow. I mean, we used to go on a prayer mountain, go pray. I was there for eight days. Wow. Yes, yes. He got me a French chef. Wow. To cook my vegetarian food <laughs> and everything. Black rasta. Saying, and when I was coming, he gave me a big amount of money in dollars. Quick. And said, take this home. That I said, no, man, I'm supposed to give you something. He said, no, give me what? You take this. Next time you're coming, you bring me something. Wow. And I gave him some CDs and a few things. And he told me something that I wouldn't want to say now. Wow. But he basically confirmed all the visions that I've been having. Wow. I've been having. Wow. Things. You see, these are the end times. So, I mean, sons and daughters are prophesying. Saying he could use anybody. The sister sitting here doing makeup. Mm -hmm. The brother here, I mean, doing whatever. Black Rasta has become a wilder lion. And the wilder lion mm -hmm. is the lion that is looking for Lucifer to devour. Wow. Simple. So, so um, Black Rasta, you encounter with T.B. Joshua now. For real. How would you describe T.B. Joshua now? Or how do you see T.B. Joshua, I've always said on my show, I love him for one thing, and that is his charitable nature. Mm -hmm. He always said, more to others, less to self. Wow. And when I got there, he wore some faded jeans that was folded. Wow. And we, the special guests, he calls us the VVIP guests. He lined us up and he invited us over to pray with him. And he was touching people. He would touch somebody who fly like a lizard and fall on the ground. <laughs> touch another person. I said, today, you will you? touch me and we will see you. <laughs> That's what I said. Because yeah. I, never, I never believed in those things. Yeah. When I went, he touched me. I was standing like, uh, you know, <laughs> an oak. Touched me again. I started saying, we will see who will fall today. I almost said, me too, I'm going to touch you. See, not in a competition, yeah. but like, you know, yeah. in a jovial. Yeah. He hit my chest and I was still standing. And then he asked me to go. When I was going, he said, bring him back, bring him back, bring him back. Wow. When I came back, I wish and pray that they play it on TV one of these days. Wow. Touched me again, touched me again. Hit my chest, I was still standing. Wow. He looked at me and said, I want to see you. Wow. That's what he said. I want to see you. And they took me over to his office. Mm -hmm. I went into his office. He sacked everybody from the office. I was sitting down with him. Wow. Then he started prophesying. Wow. Yeah, he talk, 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 talk. And after talking, I'll keep that. Yeah. And then after talking, he told me what he told me. Wow. Yeah. I'm glad that there was a confirmation. Wow. Because I got frightened, like as it, to be honest with yeah. you. You sleep, you wake up, you see a vision, and you're like, oh, it's one of those dreams. Yeah. Three days later, it's happening. Wow. You sleep, you wake up, hey, four days later, something is, ah! It came to a time, I'll see people even walking by, and I'll say, ah, it looks like I saw these people a week back. Yeah. And uh, what, is, what is this? Am I going crazy? Am I going mad? Yeah. It took people like Kewa. Yeah. Who saw me and said, hey. This is what you have on your head. Wow. And Bernard L. Bernard told me, when you were born, when you were one year, one month old, this was what happened to you. Ask your mother. And when I called, boom, like magic. I'm like, ah, so how come I never knew all these things all my 41 years on earth? Wow. I never knew this. I mean, I love religion. Yeah. I bring Hare Krishna to my yeah. show. I bring Christians to my we show. Start my lambs, we start everybody. I love religion. I want to learn. How come I never knew this little bit? Wow. And I, I to God be the glory, Amen. I still see the visions. Hallelujah. I'm not opening a church or a mosque. Mm -hmm. Mine is to continue being on the radio, travel around, get the youth to appreciate themselves. Hallelujah. Self-pride yeah. and make the people love, I mean, whatever they are doing. No. You're still watching Carlos of Black. On Care TV, your number one reggae dancer show. My name is King Lagazi, seven star platinum diamond general. And today, the one black rasta is here. Black, yeah, man. What exactly is the way forward now in terms of music, in terms of vision, in terms of tour? Well, we're waiting on the, on the, on the, on, on the King of Kings, you know, <laughs> God Almighty, Subhana wa Ta'ala, however you want to call him, Allah God Jah. <laughs> We're waiting for him to give us the direction. Mm -hmm. But I'm dropping a new album. Come mm -hmm. the 12th of March, 2016. Mm -hmm. And it's called The Kuchoko Revolution. Black Rasta. Yes, my brother. Back to you before we wrap it up. Yeah. Yes, one question that nearly escaped my mind. Yeah. When you were called, when you were called in parliament. Parliament. You, you, you were one person who go on radio. Mm -hmm. You chanted some. 
before you start your show. Yeah, always. Basically, you say you are a Nayabingi, Bingi. Rasta man. Straight. And as you enter into parliament, what happened before you picked the Quran? Well, uh, that's what I always say. Mm -hmm. People hear me. If I on my show, mm -hmm. you will hear the Quranic reading. Mm -hmm. Surah Al Ikhlas mm -hmm. is always on my show from when I started. Mm -hmm. And then I chant a sound. Mm -hmm. I try to represent every religion. I am the only reggae man on earth. Mm -hmm who even plays music from the Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. You hear Indian music on my reggae show, mm -hmm. true or false. Mm -hmm. That is it. Mm -hmm. I represent all religions. Today, if I go and swear by the Bible, mm -hmm. and tomorrow I go to swear by the Quran, mm -hmm. it should just be a way of balancing. <laughs> Next time I will go and take the cross. <laughs> it's balancing. Tolerance. Tolerating. Balancing. <laughs> yeah, we balance it. All because right. we have fans who are Muslims, yeah. Christians, yeah. Hindus, yeah. and God Almighty knows what is deep here. Yeah. To Jabi the glory. Every time. Um, you know, Black Rasta is a dub poet, right? And he's a reggae artist as well. Mm. And today, we're not going, in terms of the live performance, we're not going to play any instrumental, but nah. you will see the man in the dub poetic style. <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> to the different style and fashion on Carlos of Black. Everything good. Black, remember the La Sharika La video. He, we'll play it. Trust yes. me. The La Sharika La video. We'll play it. First time on TV. Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh -huh. we would like to thank our sponsors, Rocket Clinic with Rock Mister, you know, helping us to pick phone calls and all that. If you are sick of any, you know, any sickness, <laughs> please make sure you come to our center because we have high-graded machines to diagnose you and know what exactly is, is troubling you so that we'll set you free. Natural way, natural way, no chemical man, natural way. You understand me? So you must get that at once. La I would like to say la. thanks la to uh, our, our la colleagues. La yeah, la. We'll play that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't jump to the gun, we'll play that. <laughs> yes, Black, the yes, way for 2016. 2016, yeah. I know we have some tours coming up and all that yeah. kind of thing. Mm. You're coming back on the radio um, this January and all that. What is the way forward? What well, are we to expect from Black Rasta? Expect more spirituality. Mm -hmm. Expect more prophecies. Mm -hmm. Expect more preaching. Mm -hmm. Expect to see me in your hood, sitting and eating with you. More history. Mm -hmm. We will do more African history. Mm -hmm. We will go deep into our cultures and mm -hmm. bring out the beauty of the cultures. Mm -hmm. Saying, mm -hmm. we will talk more. We will play more music. Mm -hmm. We will perform around. Mm -hmm. And then people will see Black Rasta in another light. This is the other aspect of Black Rasta mm -hmm. after 41 years. Wow. Seeing, we started moving from place to place. Seeing, in mm -hmm. terms of the spirituality, mm -hmm. this is the ultimate. Mm -hmm. And we just want you to pray and support us when I bounce back on the radio. Hopefully by next week you'll get the announcement. Mm -hmm. And then you see the billboards. The billboards <laughs> all over. Quite. You see Black Rasta smiling and telling, tune into this radio station at this time yeah. and catch me live. Yeah. And I hope to have Lagazi on my show. You know, say it. <laughs> you know, one of these days. Yeah. Yeah, we will have a nice chat. Yeah. We, will, we, will have, we will still have people coming in to share knowledge and also to teach us their religions mm -hmm. and their spirituality mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. The history will never stop mm -hmm. because history is vital. Yeah. So basically, Lagazi, until the Almighty God tells us another thing to do. Yeah. That is it for now. All right. So um, I hope I'm going to get my dog plate very soon. Yeah, man. Sewakoto dog plate. Sewakoto. Yeah, man. You know what you're saying. You have a... Sewakoto. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, my name is King Lagarde, the seven-star platinum diamond general. Alongside with my good brethren, Black Rasta, it's been a lovely chat. You know, anytime I meet this man, we have a lot of things to talk about. You understand me? I have a lot of questions, but my director said, yeah, look, the time is running. The time is running, so we had to go. I would like to thank everybody who viewed us anywhere you were. Big up yourself. You understand me? I would like to say one big love to Chucky Popke. You say you're going to watch it online, and I know by this time it's streaming online as well, and I know you're watching it. Big up yourself, Chucky Popke. Every time you said you miss Black Rasta so much, <laughs> and today you will not miss Chucky this show. Popke, love. Give thanks and praise every time. Until we come your way once again, Next week, with the same show, Carlos of Black, my name is King Lagazi, on behalf of Mr. Black, the head of production, and all the cameramen, makeup artists, everybody, I say big thank you. I'm leaving you in the hands of Black Rasta, and today we're going to do Dope Poet style. Stay tuned.
me gone. Allah hula, in share it Allah. Allah hula, in share it Allah. Mtala Allah, mbadero na laina. Nisali, ya tilwata. Allah hula, oh share it Allah. Allah hula, in share it Allah. Mtala Allah, mbadero na laina. Nisali, ya tilwata. I want to see Muslims come together, just like birds of one special freedom. I want to see Christians live together, peace and love in a every local corner. Don't wanna see no Boko Haram, don't wanna see no hate and run. Too much killing under the sun, blood just are spilling, pan will land. No one has seen no Al Qaeda. They must say no retreat, no surrender. They must shoot in them just a murder. Oh Allah, Swahana, what a Allah. Allah, Allah, in share it, 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 Allah. Allah, Tolerance, oneness, equality, togetherness, Rastafari. <laughs> Most let's pray to Allah who are Akbar. Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Christians pray to Jesus the Christ. Got them a Buddha for the Buddhist. Jaja Rasta for the Rasta man. I and I, we never was no gun. Come together and live as one. Everyone, a man and woman. No wanna see no ripping and killing. No wanna see no blood we are spilling. Just wanna see you dancing and singing. Reggae music, the dog just a banging. Allah, 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 Allah,